Hi, and welcome to the World Justice Forum. You. Could you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your project? Sure. Um, thanks for having us, Radha. Uh, my name is Ruha Devanasan. I'm the executive director of the Internet Bar Organization. And um, one of our projects, the Peace, Peace Tones Initiative, was chosen as an Opportunity Fund grantee in 2008. So um, at that point, it was just an idea, and the Opportunity Fund helped us pilot it. And, and now it's one of the biggest, biggest projects we have. So we're happy to be here to talk about it. Great, thank you. Can you talk a little bit about what the rule of law challenge was that you were trying to address with this solution to create the Peace Tones Initiative? So what we were really targeting was um, conflict in communities around resources, um, which, which has then led to political conflict or, or, or broken out into violence. Um, and conflict, as, as the World Justice Project knows, is often a basis for a breakdown in rule of law, but also caused by a, a breakdown of rule of law. And so what Peace Tones does is uh, address this conflict by working with musicians who have a positive message to their music, who talk about issues of social justice, um, which, which can span public health. They can, they can, they can be talking about corruption, um, politics, not necessarily a particular political party, but, but frustration with the political system. Uh, and our d idea was if we could support these musicians and help them make an income off their music and become full-time musicians in their communities, um, that their music would have greater impact in their communities, but also be able to um, sort of cross, cross national boundaries into a global audience. Great, thank you. Um, can you tell us a little bit about how the World Justice Project has helped to support this initiative? Yeah, so back in 2008, uh, my, my boss, the president of IBO, Jeff Oresti, had the idea for Peace Tones and was looking for funding. And um, the World Justice Project actually gave us our seed funding to run our first three projects. So we did our Brazil, Sierra Leone, and Haiti projects um, with World Justice Project funding through the Opportunity Fund. Um, we were able to come back and present our work and workshop it with other attendees the following years. So it's been an immense help to, to work with the World Justice Project and also all of the other great people that come to the forum. Um, and we've had a lot of not only feed positive feedback that's helped us improve our model, but also built partnerships through coming here. Great, thank you. It's always really wonderful when people can share a story that really illustrates the impact of their project. Mm -hmm. Do you have a story that you could share about the Peace Tones? Sure. Um, I have a couple, actually. One is of a, of a group called Ato Periferico, who were, whose um, music project came out of Opportunity Fund funding. So uh, Peace Tones went to Recife in Brazil in 2009 and worked with these uh, young musicians who are in a, in a hip-hop and breakdancing group in a favela in Recife. And um, together with us, they released their first album, and we started distributing it. And um, they also had um, legal workshops that we arranged for them through a Brazilian lawyer in Recife that we partnered with. Um, and it was, it was through their relationship with Peace Tones, but also through their own initiative, to be honest. We, we helped th them get exposure, and we gave them legal counsel for when they needed it um, in Rising. But they've since gone on to become one of the biggest arts groups in their, in their community. They've performed at Carnival in Recife, because the mayor heard about the activity that they were doing with Peace Tones and with Shine a Light, which is another nonprofit that we partnered with. Um, and they also came to the World Justice Forum in 2009 and performed for the audiences here. And the kids from Ato Periferico still talk about the forum as their favorite performance because it was their most nerve-wracking performance. Um, we did a documentary, we co-produced a documentary with Shine a Light about them, uh, which was a five years later kind of documentary. And in that documentary, they talk about how they were peeping through the curtains at the forum and saw all of these judges in their suits and were kind of freaking out that, th that these were the people they had to perform in front of. And when they came out and did their show, everyone was out of their seats and dancing with them. And it just made them feel so good that the people, the cream of the crop of society, 
were able to identify and participate in something that they were they were doing. And their songs were about corruption, about p police brutality. These these are issues that are, you know, they were really afraid that they would get a lot of um, negative feedback on them. So that that's one story, um, which which I love to tell. Um, another one is, is one of our artists from Haiti, Juanito, who was part of our last completed project, has since, since we recorded his album gone on to become the biggest artist, one of the biggest artists in Haiti. So his songs are, are listened to and sung by Haitians all over the country, but also by Haitian diaspora in the United States and in, in France and in Canada. And um, his songs are about um, what it is to be, what it is to be Haitian in in the 21st century. So he sings about teenage pregnancy. He sings about uh, his his love, his girlfriend, who he lost in the earthquake. Um, he sings about a friend of his that came from the village to live in Port-au-Prince and go to high school, go to university, who was one of his smartest friends. But because he didn't have the money to stay, he had to go back home to the village and continue farming. So. These are issues that Juanito was singing about, and now because, because of his popularity, kids in the streets of Port-au-Prince are also singing. Um, and this is, this is what Peace Tones is about. Great, thank you so much. The last question is about advice. There are so many people who are here at the World Justice Forum who are inspired by the work that you're doing with the Peace Tones to create their own solutions to rule of mm -hmm. law challenges. What advice would you give people who are trying to strengthen the rule of law in their own communities? I would say while they're here to talk to other attendees because we've all been where they are. We've all been at the idea stage. And um, in implementing our projects, we've all learned from failures and from mistakes. And to be able to share those mistakes with others is, is as important as sharing successes because that's how we help others hopefully prevent making the same mistakes. Um, but I would also say the only reason Peace Tones succeeds is because we work with partners in every country we go to. We work in different countries around the world um, and we focus on finding local partners and that, that's, if, if your idea is to run a project in a country or a community where you are not a local, um, my advice would be try and find good local partnerships um, and implement with them in conjunction with them. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you.